house. Get out my pub. This group of family and close friends have come together to investigate the paranormal. They are eager to find evidence to share with the rest of the world. Everything you see and hear will be 100% genuine. Their wish to understand why people from the past are still here today sends them on a quest. They want to know why spirits inhabit our world. Every second of footage is independently analyzed and can be verified, even if it cannot always be explained. <gasps> this week, the paranormal misfits are in the London tombs. Although there is an abundance of rumored stories, there are facts that are yet to be uncovered about this dark, mysterious place. It is rumored that this location is very active with paranormal activity and a place where thieves roamed and prostitutes plied their trade. All that we know is... A box of bones were found hidden behind an air duct. The Home Office dated them back to the 11th and 12th century. However, the largest collection found were from the 17th century, the days of the Great Plague. Almost 300 bone fragments and a human skull still intact have been unearthed. Now removed for documentation, it has been rumored that up to 3,000 complete skeletons are yet to be uncovered. During the Wars of the Roses, Thomas Neville led the Kentish Rising. In May 1471, he was refused entry into the city in sheer frustration, he burned much of Southwark, causing devastation to the surrounding area. He was captured, beheaded, then his head was set upon a spike on London Bridge for all to see. Joanne sends Jack into the maze to see what he can uncover. So, hi there. It's Jack. Um, I'm down here in the tombs. Just uh, going to find some, do some investigation. I'm all on my own. Wish me luck. 
So my hair's all fine. I'm good. I'm ready to go bust. As you can see, I'm walking further into the tombs. Uh, this bit is really... Well, the can hear footsteps. Hello, spirit. Is there anyone here? So this is amazing. As you can see, I'm still walking further into the tombs. I've heard some footsteps, so I'm going to investigate. Who knows? I think I... Not too sure. Hello, spirit. Come on, do something. Speak to me. I'm getting back, I don't like this. I don't like it. I can't do it. I need to see where I'm going. I need to get out of here. I really need to get out of here. <sighs> scares me this. I'm pretty um pretty worried at the moment. Well sweating now. I don't know why. I was really cold just now and now I'm really quite hot. And it's very, it's really heavy in here. I think there might be something might go on down here. Something. It's gone really cold here. I'm thinking it's going to bump into someone, but there's no one here. It's like I'm, I'm following something. I keep following these noises, thinking I'm going to bump into someone, and there's no one here. I feel real, real tension in here. Hello, spirit. I'm shaking. If there's a spirit or is there some girls here, some children, please make yourself known. I can hear some footsteps. Hello, spirit. If you're here. Oh, I've got the shivers now. Massive shivers just went down my spine. What's that? Hello? Oh my god. Hello? <sighs> oh. If there's anyone here, I'm not here to hurt you. My name's Jack. Shh. Hello. Hello. Oh, what's that? Hello. Right, if you pr Right. I'm going to get out. I'm getting out of here. <sighs> Good. Right, I'm getting out of here. Nah. I'm going to get out of here. 
get out of here. There's something following me, I think. There's something me. Please get out of here. Oh, my God. My... There's something. No. I need to go. I can't. I can't be in here anymore. I need to get in. I need to find someone. Jack explains to the rest of the misfits what happened on his investigation. Yeah, I got scared just now. I've broken the camera. Oh, really? Well, Joanne and Mario are in the chapel, an area that was known to be frequented by prostitutes, thieves, and vagabonds. They are met by constant verbal abuse. Viewer discretion is advised. There's supposed to be a lot of uh, activity going on down here in the chapel. So we've got the echo box, so you can communicate through that, so we can hear you. So if there's any spirits with us, can you give us a name, maybe? Say your name. Come on, you can hear the echo box. You can communicate through that. Give us a sign, give us a name. I don't know, it's a weird, isn't it, noise? Say one of our names. <laughs> I was going to say Mario then, didn't it? Are you scared of me and Mario? Come on, give us some kind of sign. Oh, I feel like I'm swaying. Am I moving, Ian? I feel like I'm moving like that, you know, side to side. I don't know, it's where we've been in the dark for a while, maybe. Give us something, give us your name through the echo box. Empty. What's empty? Red. Oh. Red. 
What does that mean? If you want us to go, say yes through the box. Are you giving me a headache? Are you pushing my head? That's a good speed, isn't it? Ooh. That's weird. I swear I just felt someone touch me on my side. Right there on my side. That was really weird. Did you just touch me? There's someone here with us in the chapel who's just touched Joanne. Can you do it again? Or maybe touch me? <laughs> maybe prod me? Take my hat off my head. Aye. Right, okay, that's, that's turned off now. Can you give us a tapping noise? A little knock. Come on, there's someone in here with us. Make yourself known. Do you want me and Mario to go into different rooms by ourselves? Tap once for yes. Here, we join Nikki and CJ in Ripper Street. We are the London in... tombs in the scary bit where the dead people are. <laughs> I see dead people everywhere. <laughs> right, we're going to go in the baby room. Come on. Oh yeah, okay, go on. So, <laughs> CJ and Nikki, Ripper Street. Ripper, Ripper Street. Street. I've got to hold this out, actually, because I've got no... Have you not? No little mic, because I broke it. <laughs> so, should we put that shadow thing over there? Sound good? That. I wish I still had that light there. <laughs> See if you wait a minute, because I actually. I told you, it doesn't take much to get stuff. While Nikki and CJ are investigating, Phil heads over to another part of the building where there have been reports of a foreboding black shadow of a man that roams the lower levels. If there's anybody down here, can you make a noise? Can we hear your footsteps? Can you try and push me? But this is what I mean, because there's such a massive death down here. There are spirits here from all different kinds of eras. It's not just necessarily from the plague victims of the 1600s. It's one's way before, one's after. And this is why it's so hard as well. When you're watching it at home, it looks light, so you think, you can, you think we'd be able to see what we're doing, but we can't. 
see a thing, hence why I'm not trying to move too far. If there's anyone in here, can you move towards the shadow sensor to make the light go off for us? It will just show a light, just to let us know that you're here. You have to move pretty close to it though. I'm sure I just saw something move down there. I, I do feel like something's down the end there. Should we have a little walk down there and see if we can pick anything up with this? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Feeling alright? Yeah. We're in the tombs, aren't we? We're lower down. So there's no natural light at all coming in. Which messes with your senses anyway. How's that? It's like a growling, wouldn't it? Come on, if you don't want to show yourself to anyone else, just show yourself to me. Come on. Because I know you're here. And you're the one that scares everyone. You're the one that scares all the staff that are here. Well, we've left the light sensor in there, so if that goes off, hopefully, hopefully it'll I go want off. it to go off, but I don't. How are you feeling? I feel OK. Oh, you're hardcore. What's can that? You, can you hear that? Like yeah. A, yeah. That's the noise I heard earlier. That that's sounds like there. a door, though. Should we go through there? That's back, though, but that's the hallway, isn't it? That's the corridor, there, right? yeah. <sighs> that's what it is. It's right there, like that. Sort of squeezing your head. Come on, if that's you, can you try and do something else? You do a good job to get me out of here. Come on, we're going to be leaving very, very shortly now. That was you, wasn't it? That wasn't you. Come on, if that was you, can you do that again? Yeah, again, again, what everyone else was saying as well earlier on about the tight chest. Mario was complaining about it earlier on. We leave Phil for the time being. I feel like it's, it's gone. It's gone a bit flat, isn't it? Yeah, it's gone should flat. Should we go... Should we go back and then go down? Are you ready for that? Yeah, we're going to have to. Yeah? Yeah. As I said, all you've got to remember... Can we go back in there for five minutes before we go down? You want a breather? So I can compose yeah. myself? Yeah, yeah. So, are you recording, Ian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 stopped. So, behind us is supposed to be where it's really active with the shadow man. So, shall we see if he comes out in this one? I do feel quite heavy again in here, didn't you? I tell you what, I've just heard someone. Yeah. I've just heard something whisper in my ear. It was like just a little, a little blow. You know when like someone, you know when someone talks about it, your ears whistle. Yeah. But it was, it was like that. But it was like a little. Whoosh. So who's down here that's just blown in my ear? Come on, we've been told that you like to throw things. We're down here now. 
Throw something at me and Mario. You've got two vulnerable people down here. Well, three with Ian. <laughs> In the dark, potentially scared, but not so scared because you're not doing anything to make us scared. So why don't you try? Oh, I'll make some kind of noise. Maybe he's a bit intimidated by us, because we are quite forceful, aren't we? But then, you know, apparently he likes to intimidate other people, so... I've got a really sharp pain in my head now. It's like a headache feeling. Have Yeah, it's like my head's been crushed. Oh. Shadow man. Come on. Stop playing games, just come out, do something. So why don't you prove to us that you're real? Make a banging noise. If you're in here, tap once. That was brilliant. Could you do that again, just so we know that that was a definite yes? Come on, one tap, use our energy. That was definitely a tap, wasn't it, earlier on? If you want us to go, tap twice. We're not going to go unless you tap twice. You know, you can feel that someone is, is behind us, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Do you, not, do you not feel like you've got a headache or anything? No, I ain't got a headache, but I've got a chest pain. But I don't know, obviously I don't know if it's to do with someone doing something or... Yeah. Might have been that tangerine or just that. <laughs> <laughs> you good old acid. No, tap, like this, if you want us to leave. What's that fud? Yeah. No one's above us, because we're at the top. Do you hear that fud, like, dun, 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 dun? That's what James said. What, that you could hear fud in? Yeah, when he was in, I think he was, I think he was downstairs, so he was in the office. Yeah. And uh, he heard like steps, more like running down the steps. Mm. And he's gone out there. He, like he, he told me, he said he heard, he heard two people talking. He's gone out there. Wow. That was quite heavy, wasn't it? Did yeah. you hear that? I do keep hearing stuff to you, but I can't work out what it is. No. Is that you making all them noises? Are you trying to scare us? Does it sound like someone's behind us? Oh. Do you not feel that shaking? Do you not feel that shaking? My chair feels like it's shaking then. Yeah. Yeah, it felt like it was like, you know, like the vibration? Yeah. Oh, my legs are all cold, I think that's right. Are you sitting next to me? It's in that corner still, isn't it? Is that where you feel it is, Mario? Like, whoever it is, they're in the corner. Well, I'm disappointed the shadow man hasn't come over. No. He's obviously around. Even though it feels quite heavy in here, I don't feel threatened in here. Oh, I don't, but... You know, yeah, do you know what I mean? And not even downstairs, I didn't feel threatened. I don't feel... 
maybe it's early, but they need more energy. We maybe we need to do, yeah, you know, that. down here. Yeah. Energy building yeah. makes the cells the same. What's up? It's just, just pressure on me. This investigation at an end prematurely. Mario felt an ill feeling. The misfits regroup for an investigation in the lower passageway. If there's any spirit down here with us now, if it's that dark shadow that's been following all night, can you try and do something for us? You've done a good job at hiding most of the night, so if you can come forward to us now, use our collective energy in the circle, try and make a loud bang, try and affect one of us. I've kept seeing faces all night popping up over people's shoulders, like just quick glimpses of the faces. Yeah. And it only occurred to me, obviously, because when they used to execute, the, you know, they put their heads on the spikes, that's all you'd see is the head. And that's all I've been seeing around people tonight. It's and particularly okay. Lee on the camera, yeah, it just been seeing like heads floating around, like around the side of people like that all night. Just fading in and out. Yeah, and it only occurred to me, obviously this head's floating around here, I understand that. But that's what it's like, it's almost just heads of people just... Do you think that's why we're all getting sort of like headaches and our necks hurt? More than likely. Well, this is what I said, I was saying to, um, I think it was Nikki earlier on, this place has got so much energy, so many different energies in here because of all the things that have happened in the past in this area. Obviously, executions, heads, you know, put on spikes and that kind of thing. So you're going to experience that. You're going to experience feeling sick because of the plague and all of those things. All, everything that you'd have experienced, you're going to be picking up on those, on those energies and those feelings. Did they execute people here then? No, but they used to, obviously, London Bridge, used to, they used to put the um, yeah. traitors' heads on. Right, yeah, I forgot about that. How's everyone feeling? I feel OK. I feel really rough. Do you? Mm -hmm. I feel sick. Yeah, mm. I feel... I just feel like in my neck. And I have to say, so earlier, I thought there was, like, a bit more of a shadow down than I thought, oh, it's just because the light bit is actually not there now. So it's like, was there must have been something there for me to... Because it's not there now. Because it's not there now. Mm. I don't really feel much here right now, to be honest. There's a lot more when no. we were here, weren't there, Jane? Yeah. Do you feel anything, Phil? Yeah, but it's again, it's all residual stuff. It's it's yeah. it's things like it's earlier on. Like yeah, I mean, earlier on, again, I can smell fire and I can smell smoke. And, and, I'm, and, quite a lot and, I, and I know there's been fire around here at some point. Um, and again, at the same point as the fire, I could see people almost like drowning and obviously the London Bridge burned I'm not talking about that but I'm talking about the surrounding area mm. buildings burning burning down um, really close to this building and just the the, 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 the smell of rotting flesh burning flesh and it, it's all that kind of thing that any sensitive is going to pick up down here yeah I don't really feel anything <laughs> like I feel, I've been feeling it all night I said to the guys earlier I feel like I'm on a boat um, yeah, do you know what that is as well? Mm. Tiredness, mm. and you've been yeah. on your feet, and we've been up and down stairs, mm. and they're standing here for a while as well. You've yeah. been getting a bit scared as well tonight. Did you yeah. see that? Well, I put it my imagination there in the foot. Oh, my head. <laughs> <laughs> but it's quiet. I've got pressure on my head again. What, around the temples you yeah. mean again? Yeah, especially mm. this side. My head and neck feels all stiff. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. After a big workout. Oh. I've got more oh, like... No, I don't do much of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, do I feel. No, do I. <laughs> what do you want to do then, guys? Because I don't really feel much. No. Do you? Uh, we're not going to get much here. Hmm? I've got a headache again. Mm. Oh. Oh. It's like someone's squashing your skull, isn't it? There, it's like... It's really tight. Oh, you shithead. I was like... <gasps> <laughs> I was going to say, it's the first time I've been touched with that. <laughs> but have you felt like your head's been yeah, squeezed? Been a, well, oh. anyway, yeah. But it's there, isn't it? It's the front bit. Oh. Jack! What? You, you weren't there and then you were bloody there. <laughs> when I turned around. <laughs> 
As the misfits split up to do other investigations, it becomes apparent that a crew member had unknowingly captured light anomalies. Is this the paranormal? As ever, we leave that for you to decide. So it's Phil and Nikki in the underground graveyard at the London Tombs. Oh, do you know, wait a minute, wait till I turn the torch off, but do you know, I don't think I can cope if that meter goes off. What, that? Yeah. Well, check there's no, I mean, there's no cables around the minute, so it's not going to go off. Wait a minute, I will, turn the, I will turn it off in a minute. I'm just freaking out a bit. Imagine if it went off right next to you now. Oh, what don't, do? please, honestly, I'm going to cry. <coughs> Honestly, I, I, I just... I thought that dummy just moved then. Sorry, it's the light, don't worry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. Should I turn my torch off? Yeah. Can I just leave it on? No. Off! Yeah. Honestly, yeah, this is... <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> it's how dark it is behind me. Oh, it's just literally, this is the darkest place I think I've ever been. If there's any spirit down here with us... Can you please do something? There's a little light on the floor. Can you walk past that? Set the light off. I've just felt someone do that on my arm. Like, no, 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 it's all right, though. It's not a problem. I know, but I, honestly, I've, this is actually the scaredest I've ever been. Because hmm. it's so dark. So I know Joe's mentioned it as well, and I think that's some of the phenomena in here as well. You get a lot of touching, but I feel like there's a lot of pulling and a lot of pushing and a lot of... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You still want me to hug you? Uh-huh. Honestly, I actually don't think I can take it. So, do you want me to stand behind you? Uh, this is just looks rude, though. <laughs> so much energy down there, though. Isn't there? Like it, but it feels. Like, I just actually feel like I've had my lip touched, like that. That's just my hair. I feel like I want to curl up in a duvet and hide. I see my heart's just literally yeah, jumped up yeah, into my chest. That's fine. We're all going to experience a lot tonight. And purely the fact, because there's a different energy that's down here, people are going to feel sick, people are going to have headaches, people are going to feel they've been touched. They're, everyone's going to experience a hell of a lot of phenomena tonight. Um, and it's just there's a constant change in energy in this, in this building. It's different now. Obviously the lights are off as well. But that dark energy that, that, that's been reported and the one that I dreamt about the other night before we came, um, is very much just walking around um, and it's one of these sort of energies it's just, it's just a black mass really it's not really you can't pinpoint who it is but he just honestly sort of you're covered. actually not helping me you're freaking me out but I'm just saying what like, I literally just feel like I've had my hand touched as well was it you no but I'm put, touching it now but the thing is again the more I'm going to be talking about them the more you're going to feel them as well because they're here I'm, I'm, yeah know. Should we take a walk? No. Can I put the light in a minute? <laughs> I'm not joking, I actually feel really emotional. I was right upstairs, I actually feel... It... Oh. Turn the torch off. No, turn the torch feel... off. It... Lee! <laughs> Come on, turn the torch off. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I can do it. Try and stand around the corner on your own. No, please don't make me do it on my own. Oh, your hair's on your legs standing up. No, I haven't got hairy legs. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I'm scared. There's a tap behind me then. Do you hear that? I heard that tap. Oh, my God, I feel... Oh. <laughs> Honestly, right. I just... Do you know what it is? It's because... There might be water dripping there. Hang on a minute. I don't think it was the water dripping. That was an actual tap. Oh, shit, on my finger. But look, the water... The water's... Uh, no, so the water would make a tapping sound. Ooh. No. I think we should 
should have a walk around. We're not allowed to go any further than here. No, no, but I mean just down this little corridor here <laughs> with all, where all the heads are. Can we go back? Can we go back? Okay. Phil, honestly, you're not looking after me very well. Oh, yeah. You're not tonight. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Are you still filming? Of course. <sighs> wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Let my heart just beat. Just slow down a little bit. I know you think I'm being dramatic. I'm really not. It's genuinely... Oh. <sighs> I just saw something in that doorway then. I oh, know. <laughs> this is how I feel. It's like I know there's something here. Of course it is, it's haunted. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Over there is where it's safer because there's nothing behind where we've got all the doors behind. I don't mean to be funny, but why would you say that? And do you know what else it is as well? What? There's like a big opening behind us, so anything yeah. can just come and run up behind you. Don't so you say can, that! See, come on, show us how good you are. You're welcome to join us. Nikki doesn't mind. What was that? Come on, walk past that little box. Oh, if I feel like there's something to the left of us. There is. Okay, if you're here... Oh, honestly. Can... can you do something for us? Can you make a bang on one of the boxes? Honestly, can you not see that? I feel like there's someone standing there. Yeah, there is. The, energ the energy's in that doorway there. He's, he's one that's a, a looker and one that... Not a looker, not in that way. He's the one that sort of looks at you and he, oh. he, he, he'll, he'll intimidate you and he'll make you feel intimidated. This is really, you know, you have to push yourself. Yeah. I'm struggling. Oh. And this is where you've got to try and let, not, not let any of the visual clues mm. put you off. And there's a graveyard in there, and obviously there's the, the reports of the um, pit and everything. We'll try, we'll stand it out. Like, come on, we need, we need, oh. that's right, it's that. Don't, it's okay, don't worry, it's fine. Look, what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen, that light comes on. When have you ever seen in the news a person being killed from a ghost, eh? From a spirit? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shall I just not talk about what's here, just to keep you calm? No, it's your job. If that male, the, the dark shadow, if you're here, can you just do something for us? We'll let you off. Don't can I have a sugary drink and then I'll come back down? Right. Yeah, deal. Joanne makes her way to do her own investigation. Should call out, see if someone is here. There's any spirits down here? Can you step forward? Come on, everyone else is gone now, so you can communicate with me. Or if the shadow man's here, come forward and talk to me. We've got two different stories from you tonight. One says that you are a nice person and the other one says that you're not such a nice person. So what one is it? So all night that we've been trying to talk to you, just been hiding. Come on, slam the doors. I know you can do it because you keep doing it when we're not around. Do it now in front of us. If you don't want us here, slam one of the doors. I keep thinking that I can see someone in there. Those my eyes playing tricks or... So you just stand in there, behind there, just waiting for us. Did you hear that? Do you know the worst thing about being in here is that you don't know someone's behind you or if someone's in front of you because it's just quite open. Oh, I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks, but I swear I keep seeing the shadow. It sounds like it's behind me. And I keep looking through that door because I'm convinced somebody is literally standing there and just staring at me. If you're near the door, can you come forward and maybe tap on the wall? Come on, come forward, because you tried talking to me earlier on. I'm trying to see if something happens, you know, when you go quiet. And then things start. Oh, honestly, I feel like I'm really going to vomit. I feel really, really sick. I'm struggling myself. 
It's like that acid feeling, you know, the sicky feeling. Are you using my energy? Is that why I'm feeling sick? And I know you're there because I can see you just like you're looking at me. You're in a white gown. Honestly, I'm feeling really sick here and I think we're going to have to go. Do you know what it is? I just feel really sick. I feel like I'm going to be sick. My throat here, honestly, I've got like acid there. I think if I went to talk now, I could literally vomit. Mm, nice. That's it. Mm. I just feel really ugh. I did see like, a, it was like, I thought I saw somebody who was in a white dress, but I'm not too sure because obviously your eyes play tricks, mm. didn't they? Like a woman, child? Yeah, a woman. She had with dark hair and she right. had like a white dress. It just went all, all the way down, but it had like a filly bit at the bottom. <coughs> and where was that? In the tomb bit, you know, in the tomb. Oh, right, okay, I yeah. through the curtains because yeah. we were in where all the boxes were, weren't we? And I said mm. to you, I swear I saw someone down there, but I don't know. As the misfits leave this location, only the dark mists of time can uncover more facts and the souls that time forgot. I don't think she'd want to scare you. Ah, box. Oh. That's, that's not paranormal. <laughs> it's me. 